Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and what's next. So as always, it's a general love reading, so will not resonate with every Aries watching. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. You can check out your playlist. I have a playlist specifically for Aries. It'll be linked in the description box. So let's jump into this for Aries. What is going on for Aries in love? Let's look at what's going on between you and this other person first. Of course, this reading, this reading, this reading will be for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind, okay? What's going on for Aries and their person what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection for Aries oh we have parting ways separation divide heartbreak there's a disconnect between you bottom of the deck I have moving forward so someone walked away from this connection uh, there's been a separation this could be long distance for some of you a long distance connection What else can you tell me for Aries? What else can you tell me spirit? What's going on for Aries? Forgiving and learning. Hmm. Someone here could be asking for forgiveness, wanting to forgive and move on. Maybe there's been some sort of lesson that um, someone has learned here because of what's happened. Bottom of the deck, I have make the effort. Yeah, it's like someone um, might be making an effort here to apologize or to for forgive the other person. We'll see what we get um, when we look at the tarot. Okay, so let's get some insight here for Aries, spirits, angels, guys. For Aries. What do we need to know, Spirit, regarding this connection between Aries and their person? What do we need to know for Aries? What's going on in this connection? Clearly, there's been some sort of divide, disconnect here. Um, maybe even some heartbreaking um, events that have taken place here, Aries. Um, either you're forgiving and moving on, or you're forgiving this other person or vice versa now both of your energies are here so we'll see what we get for you ace of wands a new beginning wanting to start something new what else tell me about what's going on in this connection queen of wands wow okay a lot of fire here aries leo sagittarius there's a desire um movement action a bold energy here someone wanting to boldly go after what they want or um go after this new beginning bottom of the deck i have the star aquarius energy so it could very well be that someone wants to heal this connection um let's see tell me more about this ace of wands why is the ace of wands here for aries there's the Ace of Wands here. King of Cups and the Hermit. Okay, so we got the Virgo energy here with the Hermit and Water sign uh, with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone has really withdrawn to um, get in touch with their feelings here. This is someone who's emotionally mature, emotionally in touch with, you know, their feelings. There's love here. There's, um, there's just this... Um, I feel like when I'm seeing these two together, especially the hermit, um, it's like whatever journey someone's on, they're still thinking about you or vice versa. You know, as what whatever they're doing right now, like they still think about you and I feel like their emotions for you are from a genuine place. So this is genuine emotion that they have, your genuine feelings, sincere feelings. 
I feel like this hermit energy is trying to figure out how they can get this new beginning or what steps they need to take um, regarding whatever path forward they want to go on here. So let's see. Tell me more about this hermit. What is this hermit energy about here, spirit? King of Pentacles. I get one more for this hermit. King of Swords. Wow, look at all these kings. So what I'm getting here with this, with all these kings, and then I have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What I'm getting here with the, with these kings, um, it, I feel like this is a very, um, like this person is mature, older, possibly um, feeling like they're stepping into this king energy at this time. Um, I feel like this is someone who is thinking about stability success but also being logical analytical about whatever it is that they're trying to get done here i feel like their feelings or emotions are motivating them tell me about these two energies the king of pentacles and the king of source you can get some insight into these two energies the king of pentacles and the king of swords this person could also five of cups knight of swords yeah there's this, um, I feel like someone has learned from their the past. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, some of you are dealing with a person who has certain friends around them that are counseling them or helping them here, being very honest with them. I'm seeing that, that someone is kind of like seeking counsel, seeking advice from people they trust, people they respect. Um, others of you, I feel like this is someone who's realizing something about the past and it's like they're beating themselves up about it here. There's the three of pentacles with the eight of swords. So once again, this idea of working on something, um, making an effort here to deal with a situation that has them feeling stuck, whatever they're thinking about. I feel like they're with the hermit and the five of cups and now the eight of swords it's almost like they're thinking of something that happened in the past. And it doesn't surprise me because I have parting ways up there. So I feel like they're thinking about this separation. What's this Queen of Wands about? And be very honest with themselves about it. They could even be um, trying to gear up the courage here to come forward. Because I have the Ace of Wands here. This is all coming out of the Ace of Wands. So there's like a new step being taken here. A new beginning that someone's focused on wow we have the wheel the wheel is setting things in motion here for sure there's definitely some changes happening here and i feel like someone is uh just going after this yeah there's the emperor there you are aries taking charge being decisive taking control of the situation the hangman, the sun, and the ten of swords. Interesting. I feel like someone's getting clarity about this ending. Eight of wands after that, and then the magician. Yeah, it's almost like whatever clarity this is that someone's getting here, um, it's moving them forward with the eight of wands and the magician. They're taking charge. This is someone that's thinking very seriously about what they're going to be doing here. One of you is in this energy. Tell me more about the Emperor and the Hangman. Someone seeing things from a different uh, perspective. We have the Eight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. Again, that energy that came out with this other person and the Strength card, Leo energy. So it's almost like someone's gathering up the courage here, um, being very strong putting an effort here, working on becoming unstuck or working on getting out of this, you know, held back energy. I feel like someone is having some sort of realization here with the hangman, the sun that came out. I have the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck. So this could be someone getting in tune with how they feel here. And then the two of cups behind that about a person. So this is what's going on for you in love or between in, in this connection. I feel like you're not really with this person. I feel like there's been a separation in the past. This wheel is setting some something in motion here.
tell me about this wheel. One of you or both of you, um, I feel like despite the separation, you still think about this other person and are being motivated to take a leap of faith here, take some sort of um, charge here with the Queen of Wands, the Emperor. Tell me about this wheel. What is this wheel about here? Yeah, the Fool. This is about something completely new. Um, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this could lead to a happy ending here for sure. So let's see how you're both thinking, feeling about each other. I'm going to start with the Hidden Truth Oracle here. Now, Aries, I'm going to have you on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies for Aries Spirit. Tell me about Aries and this other person. How are they thinking or feeling about the other person or each other? Let's start with you, Aries. Tell me about Aries. What is the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection regarding this other person? I couldn't let you get close to me. Tell me about this other person that Aries is dealing with. Tell me about this other person. I don't, re I don't react when people mention you. You came closer than anyone. Interesting. I couldn't let you get close to me. You came closer than anyone. I feel like when you think about this person, you think about how they never truly let you in or this never fully materialized. Um, it's like they kept you, they kept some sort of distance from you. Um, and I feel like this person confused you. Well, I don't react when people mention you. So this person's almost like in denial or pretending like you don't affect them. Pretending like, you know, they're not as hurt or, I don't know. It's almost like they can't let anyone know that you are still on their mind. Because don't, make no mistake, the, this person is still thinking about you. Let's get some more insight here. It's like they don't want other people to know this. But they're waking up to an idea here of, I feel what they're, it's almost like coming around to this idea that maybe this isn't the right way to handle this. The lizard. Okay, so someone very sensitive. In, there's um, instinctive. So, okay, let's get some insight here. Tell me more about Aries and this other person. Tell me more about Aries this other person. What can you tell me about Aries? The otter. What can you tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with, Spirit? What can you tell me about this other person? The elk. Okay, so right away I see an uh, age difference for some of you. This person could already be in another commitment. So I have the elk here, which is kind of like the king of pentacles of this deck. Tell me more about Aries. Tell me more about this person that Aries is dealing with. Why am I getting so many cards? Whale and golden egg. Okay. Yeah, this person is, um, I feel like this is, for a lot of you, this is an older person. Someone, um, there's an age difference here. This person has some sort of truth with the golden egg that I feel they need to express here or, you know, it's you both have spiritual cards on, on either side. So I feel like you're both going through some sort of spiritual journey. The golden egg is message at the center of the heart. So yes, this is someone that is really um, digging deep, especially with the whale here, um, digging deep into their emotions. Um, I feel like this person was a bit immature when you work together and maybe they've gone through some sort of growth here. I'm also getting that there could be somebody else involved because they don't want to react when people mention you. So it's like, I don't know, it's this energy of, um, you don't, I don't want you to know what I'm really thinking about Aries. 
Now, Aries, on your side, I see you um, having some sort of, um, I don't know, I feel like in your mind, you wonder if this was really, like, did you imagine this? Was this something that, you know, was too good to be true? Maybe you thought that this connection had a lot of potential and it didn't end the way that you hoped. And it's almost like you second guess yourself um about this this connection about this other person you know do they care about you is it all in your head um but the owl is here and the owl is also kind of a spiritual card air energy let me look at the owl real quick i can find it there it is abundance clairvoyant treasures um an omen that a boon or treasure is on the way, either in spiritual or material form. With the owl wisdom on your side, you'll see and know exactly what to do with this gift. So yes, it's almost like there's something coming your way or you're expecting something from this person. But I think at the same time, you wonder, why am I still expecting something from this person? Like, why am I still like thinking about this person or why do I feel this pull towards this person? You know, are we meant to be together or not? Tell me more about this person's energies towards Aries. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Aries, please. I feel trapped. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Aries. We need to talk. Yeah, they have something to tell you. Bottom of the deck, I'm taking action. That's that Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands energy that I was picking up. So I feel like it's your person that wants to reach out here. Um, they are feeling trapped and I wonder if it's trapped like fear, um, fear keep holding them back or trapped in another situation because I do feel there for a lot of you, there's somebody else here. Okay, so Aries, let's look into you and your person's energy. I'm using one deck for you, one deck for your person. Tell me more about Aries. Sorry, tell me more about Aries. Remember that you can flip these energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me more about Aries. Seven of Cups. Yeah, some of you are wondering if you imagine this, if you are, if this is an illusion, if you've been, you know, letting your fantasies or your imagination run away with you. Some of you are a bit confused by this person. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I see, I see you kind of um, not sure what to do exactly when it comes to this person. What path to go down? Um, bottom of the deck, I have judgment in the world. So, or I actually just split the deck here. So yeah, it's almost like um, part of you is thinking I should let go, walk away, just move on with my life. And the other part of you is almost like, I don't know, like there's a pull here. Tell me about this three of pentacles. I think if this person, um, the devil, Capricorn energy, I think if this person were to show up, Aries, a lot of you would want to work on things with this person. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Judgment. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel a lot of you are wondering if there will ever be a reunion with this person. I feel like you already know they're trapped in another situation or stuck somewhere. Tell me if that's the case in the comments. Like, do you already know that this person is stuck somewhere else? And are you open to reconciliation? Because I feel like you still think about the past when it comes to this person. Yeah, I feel like some of you are still waiting for this person to come forward, apologize for what happened, Ten of Swords, uh, the Tower, and the Lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini Energy, and then I have the Fool. So it's almost like you would be willing possibly to start over, to try again, depending on how they approach you. 
I feel like this um, ending really affected you, Aries. I don't think you're really over it. Not really. Like deep down, it still is something that you think about. Tell me about this Two of Wands. Eight of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you wonder if you should walk away from this. From this attachment. Because I feel like it's only been disappointing. Or there's only like, um, like you're tired of feeling this loss. Yeah, you are really conflicted. Two of Swords, Queen of Wands. What to do? What action should I take here? Um, am I denying myself here? Am I forgetting to focus on myself? Um, I'm worth a lot more than this. That kind of energy with the Queen of Wands here. This is kind of the energy that I'm seeing for you, Aries. Um, a lot of like indecision on your end. And I feel it's because it's there's there's not clear there's no clarity here. Not really with the Seven of Cups. It's almost like maybe the things ended and there was enclosure between you and this person. Let's look at your person. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with or thinking about at this time, Spirit. What are their energies when it comes to Aries or this connection? What are their energies? energies when it comes to Aries or this connection we already know they want to talk the tower my goodness tell me about this person what are their energies when it comes to Aries or this connection four of coin King of Swords, Page of Swords, bottom of the deck. Okay, I feel like this person, they might contact you unexpectedly. And, um, hmm. With this tower, I don't know, it's almost like um, this tower is connected to something they've held on to here. It's almost like they've held on or held back. They've held on to some sort of information or held back something from you. And this is another reading where this comes up for Aries. Aries, if this is resonating for you, then check out your playlist because the last two readings that I've done, I feel like this is a continuation of those. And you know, I can't help what messages come out. These are the messages that keep wanting to come out here. And it's for a reason because there's someone out there where this is happening for them. All right, tell me about this tower. I think this is gonna surprise you just because, well, let's see. I feel like it's the, okay, it's the Hermit. I feel it's the, I don't know, the approach or what they say. Tell me about the tower. And with the Hermit, it's almost like there hasn't been communication. It's like they contact you or they message you and it surprises you because you're not in contact with them. Wow, that was so, so eloquently put, but you know what I mean. Tell me more about this tower. The hangman. And the seven of wands, the emperor at the bottom of the deck with the two of cups and the knight of swords. So look at this energy. There you are, Aries, again, with the emperor. But I'm also picking up, this is your person's energy. Um, this is communication about a partnership here with the knight of swords or a communication about a connection a soulmate connection for some of you i feel like some of you might be resistant to hearing from this person there might be a bit of a um a block here um, or like perhaps like you're on the defensive a little bit because you're not really sure what they're going to say. And it's almost like you're, you're bracing yourself here. Why is the hangman here? The eight of cups. Why is the hangman here? 
the Queen of Wands. The Fool at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is in the world. Yeah, this is someone, I feel like this person's going to tell you that they walked away from somewhere where they were stuck or trapped. And they're taking a risk now into a new cycle here. And I feel like this involves you, Aries. Tell me about the King of Swords. I feel like this is going to be very direct, almost like, listen, I just need to tell you how I feel. I don't even care, you know, <laughs> I don't even care, like, if this surprises you. King of Swords, Page of Cups, so definitely somebody expressing themselves here. Um, this could be an apology, a very direct, open apology. Tell me more about the King of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Communication, communication, communication. So expect this person to contact you, for sure, and I feel like it might surprise you. They could have even caused a tower in their own life here. Um, and now we're kind of wandering solo. Because I have the Eight of Cups, the Hermit, and then I had the Fool. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Two of Coin. Yeah, they were debating whether to do this. I feel like you're both kind of debating if you should even contact the other person. Yeah, the Magician. This is debating about what to do. Um, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, what to say. So let's see, where is all of this headed? Aries, if this is resonating for you, um, hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know if this is someone who you would welcome back. I feel like some of you are going to be resistant to this. Um, I do, I do pick that up, but I think a lot of you, I think... It's almost like it's going to be confirmation when this person shows up. Like you knew all along or you expected them this to happen or you expected them to tell you something. Like maybe you've sensed it. Spirit, what is the next for this connection between Aries and this person? What is next? What is next for Aries? And this person. I'm going to pick a couple cards here. Okay, so far we have the Empress and the Three of Pentacles. What are their next actions? Seven of Cups. Hmm. So what I see happening next here uh, is someone making some sort of effort with the Three of Pentacles. Someone's definitely working on something here. And working diligently, um, this is someone that's almost like building something. And for a lot of you, I feel like this is someone that's like building their courage. The Empress. I wonder what this is about with the Empress. But what I'm getting so far right now is that this is a person. This is a person. This could be a motherly figure. This could be a parent. This could be the other person. This could even be you, Aries. Hmm. I, I feel like this person is very like uh, important. And then I see the Seven of Cups here. So I see options, choices. I feel like with the Seven of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, someone's working to make sure that they have multiple options. Like, I feel like this is connected. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups. And after that, the Hermit. So yes, this is this is your person's energy with the Hermit. The Hermit has shown up. This is the third time the Hermit shows up. And the Eight of Cups has shown up twice. So I feel like this is your person's energy. Um, I feel like they're walking away from something for sure. Either, and I'm getting for a lot of you, this is someone returning to you after being away for some time. Uh, I'm going to leave this reading here, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it resonated for you. It was quite a long one. <laughs> uh, let me know down in the comments if it resonated for you, if you would welcome this person back. Are you dealing with a separation? Um, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you just want to say hello, that too. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who likes, shares, subscribes, and is so supportive and continues to watch the videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on another one very soon. Take care.